Scott, for tentpole number five. Thanks, Steve. All right, so our fifth tentpole are some great features for enterprise. Now, the iPhone has made huge inroads in enterprise. Already, more than 80% of Fortune 100 companies are using iPhones. And so we have some really nice features here, starting with even better data protection. So now, in iPhone OS 4, we will encrypt all of your email, including all the attachments, with your PIN code. So better encryption in email. And we're making APIs available so developers can encrypt all the data inside their app as well. So great data encryption. Next, mobile device management. This has been a huge request. There are companies out there like Sybase and Mobile Iron and a, and a number of others. And they build these enterprise solutions for deploying large number of phones to companies. Well, we did the work in iPhone OS 4 to enable those solutions to also manage the deployment of iPhones. So this is a big one, mobile device management. <laughs> Next, wireless app distribution. So, <laughs> so a lot of companies are building custom applications. And until now, the employee would have to plug into iTunes to get those apps. But no more. With iPhone OS 4, that company can wirelessly distribute these applications anywhere in the world from their own servers. So wireless app distribution. Next, as Steve mentioned, we're adding support for multiple exchange accounts on a single phone. And we've added support for Exchange Server 2010. We've also added support for SSL VPN for both Juniper and from Cisco. So some great enterprise features in iPhone OS 4. And that is our fifth tentpole. Our sixth tentpole is Game Center. And this is a developer preview in iPhone OS 4. Gaming is extremely popular on the iPhone and the iPod Touch. In fact, we have more than 50,000 game and entertainment titles on the App Store. And let's compare that to the competition. If you look at dedicated gaming devices, like the Sony PSP and the Nintendo DS, we just blow them out of the water with more than 10 times the number of game and entertainment titles as either of them. Well, we want to make gaming even better on the iPhone. So we are adding a social gaming network. This allows you to challenge your friends to games. This is what it looks like when one of your friends is inviting you to play a game. We also will do automatic matchmaking. So if you're playing a game and it requires four people to play, we'll automatically find three others of a similar ability to you in that game and put you all together into the game. You can compare how you're doing against your friends and against the world with leaderboards. And you can see how you're progressing through a game and compare yourself against your friends with achievements. So Game Center, it's a social networking game, a social gaming network where you can invite your friends, match make, compare yourself with leaderboards and achievements. It's a preview in iPhone OS 4, and it'll be available for everyone later this year. And that is Game Center, which is our sixth tentpole. I'd like to hand it back to Steve. Thank you. So our seventh tent pole is called iAd. It's mobile advertising. We're building it right in to iPhone OS 4. Now, what's this about? Well, you know, we have 185,000 apps on the App Store created by tremendous developers. A lot of those apps are free, and, a lot, and the rest of them are really reasonably priced. You've got apps for free, for 99 cents, for $1.99. And we like that. Users like that. But these developers have to find a way to make some money. And we'd like to help them. Now, what some of the developers are starting to do is to put advertising into their apps. And 
for lack of a, a more elegant way to say it, we think most of this mobile advertising really sucks. Um, and we thought we might be able to make some contributions. So this is what this is all about. It's all about helping our developers make some money through advertising so they can keep their free apps free. Now, when you look at a mobile device, a phone, it's not like the desktop. On the desktop, search is where it's at. Right? That's where the money is. But on a mobile device, search hasn't happened. Search is not where it's at. People aren't searching on a mobile device like they do on a desktop. What's happening is they're spending all their time in apps. When people want to find a place to go out to dinner, they're not searching. They're going into Yelp. They're using apps to get to data on the internet rather than a generalized search. And this is where the opportunity to deliver advertising is. Not as part of search, but as part of apps. Now, the average iPhone user spends a little over 30 minutes every day using apps. Over 30 minutes every day using apps on their phone. Now, if we said we want to put an ad up every three minutes, let's say, that would be 10 ads per device per day. 10 ads within 30 minutes is about the same as a television show. Right? We're going to soon have 100 million devices. That's a billion ad opportunities per day in the iPhone community and iPod Touch community. One billion ad opportunities per day. This is a pretty serious opportunity. And it's an incredible demographic. But we want to do more than that. We want to change the quality of the advertising as well. Now, we're all familiar with interactive ads on the web, right? That's what they look like. And they're, more, they're interactive, but they are really not capable of delivering emotion, which is why the majority of ad dollars still flow through television, because advertisers can deliver an emotional message through television. Right? We know what that's like. What we want to do with iAds is to deliver interaction, but also deliver emotion. So interactive ads have no emotion, some interactivity. And television ads have a lot of emotion, but no interactivity. And we want to be here. We want to be even more interactive than the, webs, than the ads you see on the web. And we want to get some of that emotion from video. So that's what iAd's all about. It's emotion plus interactivity. The ads keep you in your app. Now, what's that about? On mobile devices today, when you click on a banner ad, it yanks you out of your app, throws you into a browser, and takes you to the advertiser's web page. You may never find your way back to your app. <laughs> and it's almost impossible to get back to where you left off. So what's the result? People don't click on the ads. Who wants to get yanked out of your app? Because iAd is in the iPhone OS itself, we have figured out how to do interactive and video content without ever taking you out of your app. And the user can return to their app anytime they want. And so we think. The result is going to be people are going to be a lot more interested in clicking on these things because they're not going to pay the penalty of having to find their way back to their app. So it's built right into the iPhone OS. And for developers to add this to their apps is really simple. They can add iAd opportunities to their apps in an afternoon. Apple's going to sell and host the ads. And we're going to give developers an industry standard 60% split of the revenues. So I'd like to show this to you. Now, what we've done is we've mocked up a few ads. We don't have any real ads yet, because this isn't uh, rolled out yet. And what we've done is we've taken a few brands that we love, and we've uh, used them. We've made some ads for them, basically. Oops, excuse me. 
Now, these folks are not endorsing